The most rewarding thing about starting my own company is actually seeing people use it. Um, so seeing people, groups of people come together to play um, Monopoly or Carcassonne or a board game, um, or even just someone using something to you know, do their ironing or something. It's so rewarding seeing other people using your platform. It's, yeah, I can't describe it. Um, I need to screw a screw as you do and um, I didn't have a screwdriver so I had to go all the way to, down to Asda and buy a two pound screwdriver that I used once and it's still actually sat um, in, my, in, my, in my room at home <laughs> and I haven't used it since um, and so it was just the whole idea of no student should ever have to experience that again um, as well as the idea of like monopoly and all this other cool stuff that you just want to be able to borrow and just play with your flat um, so really it's about like making students have an awesome time so you simply come onto the app request an item, tell us how long you want it for. We'll then deliver that item to a locker in your halls uh, and you go into the locker, pick it up, use it. So it might be a Monopoly set to play with your flat or it might be a screwdriver or even an iron. So you just use it and then you return it to the locker as soon as you're finished. I absolutely think that university is the, great, is the perfect time to start a company. You don't have a mortgage or four kids or a job or anything. It's, it's the perfect time you have, you know, you have no risk in, in starting a startup other than you might slack at uni, but that doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so the advice I'd give to young student entrepreneurs is to really focus on the problem, use that as your guiding light, make sure that you are solving a genuine problem for people, um, and then just focus on that purely, on solving that problem for people. We want to be the one place that everyone comes to to borrow stuff.